Okay guys, for the majority of you, the exams are over and I know you're all going to be unsubscribing from my channel. In fact, I know loads of people are going to just click unsubscribe as soon as they saw this stuff in their subscription feed. Um, but before you go, I just have a few tiny things I want to stay with you to you, so just stick with me for a little bit. Um, the first thing is thank you. I think we have had um, a really, really good year. Loads of you and regular commenters on the videos and I feel like I've really got to like know some of you um, and the, the feedback I've been getting from you has been so, so great. It's been really inspiring me to like keep doing what I'm doing, make more videos. So thank you so much. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you guys. If no one watched my videos then it literally would just be me sitting in my spare room talking to myself all day which would be a bit sad but I really do feel like I'm talking to you when I'm sitting here talking on the camera so thank you so much um and for those of you that are going to unsubscribe bye and thank you again um but I'm going to ask you to pause for just a second before you do that because I'm going to tell you about some things I have coming up next year um so for very very complicated reasons. Um, I'm not going to be publishing anymore on my A-level channel, I'm going to be publishing all the A-level content on this channel. So if you are doing A-level chemistry, um, or if you're doing core maths, then I'm going to be publishing loads from September, no, the summer, I have a break, I have a baby, <laughs> seriously. Um, from September I'm going to be publishing like A-level chemistry and hopefully some core maths videos as well for you. I'm also going to be doing um, a series, I'm going to try and get loads and loads of other people involved in this about applying for universities. So I've already got a video, um, things that you need to do if you want to apply to Oxford and Cambridge. Um, and I know this seems really early to start thinking about UCAS applications but you need to start thinking about your UCAS applications. Not now, not now, but when we come back in September. Um, so I'm gonna have loads of videos about personal statements, speaking to universities, um, stuff like that. So even if you're not doing A-level chemistry or core maths, um, hopefully there will still be something for you to stick around for. Of course, over the summer, um, Bump will be making his appearance. So um, if you wanna see all the really cute baby pictures, just stay for another couple of months until the really cute baby pictures have gone up and if you want to be one of the first to know then Twitter is going to be the place to follow me because it's much easier for me to get a photo up on Twitter than it is for me to come and make a YouTube video. Um, what other things do we need to know? Okay, so if you are unsubscribing, if you're not going to stay subscribed, here are just some random bits of advice that it's good advice, I like to think it's good advice, good advice for life, good advice for staying happy and healthy, so here are just some random things for you. One, wear moisturiser. Yes, everybody, please wear moisturiser. Guys as well. Um, moisturiser is really, really good for your skin. Um, and it's going to stop you looking old. So wear moisturiser. Two, wear sun protection. Sun protection is really, really good for your skin. Now you can be clever and get a moisturiser that has SPF in it. Um, in the later, later, later years, it will stop you looking old and can potentially protect you from cancer. These are good things, okay, because not many people enjoy the, the sight of wrinkles in the morning. No, I certainly don't. Um, but if you start using moisturiser really, really early on, then you're going to be better protected against that. And SPF, again, on your face, nice and easy, put it in with your moisturiser. That is going to protect you from skin cancer and really leathery looking skin later in life. So please, please, please consider wearing those two things on a daily, if not regular basis. The other thing I really wanted to wear, condoms. They are a good idea, honestly. They will not only stop you turning into a massive heifer lump like I am, but they'll protect you against all kind of nasty STDs, some of which are easily curable and some of which are not easily curable. So wear a condom. And if you're about to have sex with someone and you don't think you can ask them to wear a condom, then maybe they're not the right person to be having sex with. Do things on your own. I know this sounds like a weird one, but do things on your own. It is perfectly okay to go to lunch on your own, or go to the cinema on your own, or go shopping on your own. You don't have to do it with other people. Um, and spending time doing stuff by yourself, like going out for lunch by yourself, 
it's going to be a massive confidence boost because you're going to think everyone's staring at you thinking, what is that person doing? Having lunch on their own? Do they have no friends? But actually, they're kind of busy with their own lives. And um, having lunch on your own will just give you kind of like a little bit of a confidence boost, but it's also nice to spend time on your own. And this summer was a really, really good opportunity for you to spend some time finding out who you are. Because you don't have anything to do for two and a half months. Now, I know some of you are going to have fantastic, fantastic things planned or have had things planned for you. Um, but loads of you are just going to have like two and a half months off, which is amazing. I would love two and a half months off. Um, use this time to find out what things you like. Because some of the things that you like are going to be some of the things that your friends like and you've just kind of like gone along with the crowd. Try and find things that you genuinely like. So go and see that weird film in the cinema. Go out to that restaurant that none of your friends want to go to. Um, go and read that book that looks like it's horrifically long and is in a language that you don't understand. Go and do stuff that is potentially a little bit scary um, and maybe a little bit intimidating. But this is a really, really good chance for you to learn about who you are. Now, obviously, please stay safe. I'm not talking about, like, um, going out in the middle of the night and doing silly things. Please, please, please stay safe. Um, but experience new things you've never done before. Maybe you were scared. Maybe you were scared of your friend's opinion. Um, but go and do new things. Um, if you're off to a festival this summer, again... Please stay safe. Please wear sun protection and condoms. And if you are going off to a festival, do your very, very best to stay in pairs. Um, this is just going to make you safer. So if someone needs to go to the toilet, go with them. Don't let your friend wander off back to the tent um, all by themselves because there are nasty people out there. You don't know what might happen. Um, so there you go guys, thank you for being here this year, goodbye if you're not sticking around, if you are sticking around there is loads and loads of stuff coming for you, um, and then there was some random waffling about stuff. <laughs>